ended chapter 11 on measurements. And I skipped some lessons that I did not think were important because we only have eight more days of school. And we are not doing a test. John, mask up. We're not doing a test. Um, so, in your mailboxes today, going home, you'll see some flashcards and a foldable. This is for you to take home to do for fun, okay? This is from the last chapter, we just didn't get to it. Now, on chapter 12, this chapter is on called Geometric Shapes and Equal Shares. So we're gonna be talking about shapes and we're also gonna be talking about fractions. So let's watch this video first that goes with this lesson, this chapter I should say. Okay, hold on. That was way too quiet. Okay, let's try it one more time. What? Raise your hand if you can find a shape around the room. Ellie, ask if you can find a clever touch is um, a rectangle. The clever touch is a rectangle. Good job. What did you find, Caden? A rectangle. For the for the like the flag or the flag. The flag is a rectangle. Good job. Anger, what did you find? A light. The lights. They are rectangles. John, what did you find? The brick wall. The brick walls. Those are rectangles. Kinsley, what did you find? Um, one of those like blocks in the bank. Okay, one of these shapes, Kinsley spy my shapes that I'm going to show you in just a minute. They are like a square. Okay, Carson, what do you see? That triangle. The triangle on the clever touch. Good job. Good eye. Libby. Surfboards. The surfboards. They're kind of like an oval shape, aren't they? They're more of an oval. Good job. Addie. My star on my mask. The star on your mask. Good one. Charlotte. The squares back there. The squares back there. Perfect. Journey. <coughs> the tiny little circle magnets on the whiteboard. <coughs> yeah, the circle magnets on the whiteboard. Corla. Um, the top and the 
the clock and the play perfect. So Brooklyn. I have two. We'll say it, just say them quickly. Um, like, you know, like the green wallpaper, yeah. like you can see the triangles yeah. back. And um, these little, these little lines, like, hanging from it. What shape would they be? Mm -hmm. uh, a triangle. Triangle? Like the, okay. like the triangle. Great. If I haven't called any, raise your hand. If I've already called any, don't. I mean, I'm going to have time for a second. Time. Um, Braylon. Um. The circle surrounding the... Yeah, the circle surrounding... My border surrounding the word wall. Good one. Uh, uh, Briley. The clip chart. The clip chart is definitely rectangles. L-E-A. Um, yeah, on the board. That one is kind of like a triangle. The, top, the taco is more like a half a circle. Semi-circle. We had tacos. Lily, what's that? It's on under. Definitely. Okay, who else have I called on? Lila? Um, I don't know if somebody had called on this yet, but you know the clever touch in that thing above it? It says yep. square. That is, definitely. Tyson. Letters up there. Good job, our rectangle. Wyatt. Now, your face is a circle, but we're going to learn about that in a few days. So, your face is a circle shape, but you're actually, if you, actually, when I think about what you said, you, your face is a circle, but your head is not a circle. So, we'll talk about that in a couple days. Last one, John. Oh. I didn't see your hand, Liz. I can't call on you if your hand's not up. No. Yep, we've already said that, but you're right. Okay, Lewis, now I see your hand. You're my last one. Oh. You just got to say one quickly. My L, your L up there. What shape is that? A square. Um. The L? Mm -hmm. no. I, I would say maybe it's two rectangles put together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, all of you found shapes, and all of you found 2D shapes. And 2D stands for something special. 2D stands for two-dimensional. And what that means is, it means it's flat. So all the shapes that you found, they're flat shapes. So, when I look at these two things, I would say they're both circles. The one is flat, 2D, and one is not. What is this, Kaden? 3D. 3D. This is 3D. I know what it's called. What is this? Sphere. A sphere. Good job. So, we'll talk about these in a few days. The 3D, but the 2D is what we're talking, focusing on today. So, this is 2D. This is 3D. Look at this. I have a square and I have a square. This is 2D. This is 3D. What is this, Raylan? What's this? A cube. Good job. So it has squares all around it, but it has shape. And if it has a shape, then it's a 3D. If it's flat, like this is flat, it's a 2D. All right. I got one more I'm going to show you. These are triangles. This is flat. This is 2D, but this is not. Libby, do you know what this is called? It's 3D, but do you know the name of it? This one's a tricky one. No, good thinking. Uh, L E A. I mean, Alice. I'm sorry, L E S. I meant. Um, a pyramid? It is a pyramid. Good job. Okay. Now, let's not worry about the 3D shapes, shapes today because we're going to worry about these 2D shapes. So watch up here. Two-dimensional figures. These figures are all two-dimensional figures. A two-dimensional figure is a plain shape with only length and width. Let's look at the top row of two-dimensional figures and say their names together. 
Okay, let's say their name. Let's start here. What is that? Circle. Triangle. Square. And rectangle. Good job. Let's look at the last three figures. Parallelogram. Hexagon. Trapezoid. All right, let's say these again because you probably haven't worked on these yeah. since first grade, if you even did them in first grade. We did. So look up here. What is this first one? Parallelogram. parallelogram. That means the sides are parallel. The sides parallel means that they are going the same distance apart and they won't cross. Okay? This is a hexagon. What does hexa mean? Journey, do you know what hexa means? No? Does anyone know what hexa means? Nobody knows? Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's count with Mrs. Murphy. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So hexa means six sides and six angles. And we're going to learn what angles are. John, put that away. Now, this is a trapezoid. And I think it kind of looks like a, a cut-off top pyramid. Yeah, cut off a top of a pyramid. Exactly. So sometimes when I was teaching kids about the trapezoid, I would draw a person in here and be like, I'm trapped in here to help you remember that this is a trapezoid. It's kind of like a pyramid, but the top is cut off. Okay? Okay, keep watching. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to print off these. I just got these really cool shapes. But I'll print these and put them around the room because we need to know these shapes. So as I go through these, let's say them. What is the shape? Square. square. How many sides does the square have? Four. Good job. Okay, what is this? Octagon. Woo, it's an octagon. Who knows how many sides an octagon has, Charlotte? Think of an octopus. Eight. Good job. Octa or oct means eight. What is this, guys? Rectangle. Okay. How many sides does this have, Riley? Four. How come this isn't a square? Because it's longer. Lila. You are right. 